Hello dear viewers, my name is Rakesh and I am your host with the video. The topic is Euro USD and GBPUSD technical analysis of 17th of September 2021. Today is Friday, the last session of the week. I am a Dukas Copy community member. I am not an employee of Dukas Copy Bank. So all the views or the opinions or whatever the trading ideas that we discuss in this video will be only my own and it has no link whatsoever with the Dukas Copy Bank. As the name suggests, we will be carrying out the technical analysis of the Euro against the US dollar and the British pound against the US dollar. And if the time permits, we will also carry out the technical analysis of the other major pairs. In this video, we will be strictly talking about the technical aspects of the trading. And we know that the every information, whether it is political or the fundamental, it is already priced into the chart. So we will try to follow the charts only for the analysis and in this program we will only be using the candlesticks charts. We will also try to find out the major levels or the key levels for all the pairs that we discuss and we will see how we can trade from them. If you are new to the technical analysis I would request you to go to our channel page and then select the playlist and search for the profitable candlestick patterns and the profitable chart patterns playlist if you go through those playlists first before you refer to this video then you will be able to understand what we are going to talk about in this program and also i would request you to ask the questions in the form of comments the comment section is below the video last but not least Everything that I say in this video is only for the information or to enhance your knowledge. You should do your own research before you put your money in the market or take advice from an established financial advisor before you put your money on the line. With this introduction, I want to go to the charts directly, but I'm supposed to show you the risk disclaimer. It suggests that trading foreign exchange on margin carries a high level of risk and is not suitable for all investors. The past performance is not indicative of future results. The high degree of leverage is dangerous and can work against you as well as for you. And everything shown in this video is only for educational purpose. This is the second para and third para says that result may be based on simulated or hypothetical performance results. So you should not just try to copy whatever you see in this video and never take a trade based on what you see in this video. I will not be held responsible for any losses that occur in your account. Only you and you are responsible for deciding if you are comfortable accepting the risk that is involved in forex trading. So with this standard introduction and risk disclaimer we are done with the standard part and now we will switch to the charts. So as usual, the first that you are going to see on your screen is the Euro US dollar uh, daily chart. If you remember yesterday's video title was that 1847 is now the resistance. So this is where the 1847 level is and today the price has been able to make a high of 1.1788 and yesterday the price has uh, closed the day at around 1.1763 which is well below the resistance of 1.1800. So now the price is well below the two resistances and in fact the price has seen a level below the third resistance which is at 1.1751. Why I am calling it as a resistance because the price has already breached this level as a support and now if the price come back to this area it will act as a fresh resistance. So now if I can safely say that now 1.1751 is the fresh resistance or the resistance for the price. But where are we headed in this market? Actually we can say that these lows here can provide some support to the price. So if we mark them like this, these lows, okay. Why I'm marking these lows because these two lows were a good support for the price when it started its up move. And if the lows of this candle that is 1.1726 is taken out on the daily closing basis, if we see a low, uh, sorry, a close below 1.1726, that means 1.1663 will be exposed in this market. 
okay that means those who have bought or gone long at this candle they must have kept their stop losses below this candle at around 1.1720 or so and if those stop losses are triggered then there will be more selling to cover up those buy positions and there will be more selling in, in that case and we can see 1.1663 on the contrary if the price starts going up from here to the 1.1751 region then those people who could not uh, short sell them here let us see on the 4 hour if it was very fast yes it was very fast sell off from 1.1751 region so those people who failed to open their positions or sell positions here they will try to open their sell positions if we get another opportunity near 1.1751 so essentially what i mean to say is that if the price pulls back to this region of around 1.1751 once again then that can be a selling opportunity with the target of 1.1663 in this market you see how bearish euro is looking against the us dollar so 1.1663 is what we are going to target next although seeing these highs here and these lows here i am expecting this area to hold for some time and we can see 1.1751 before we step uh, forward towards 1.1663 in this market talking about the gbp usd uh, no surprises here also yesterday we were expecting the price to this area around 1.3800 to act as resistance today the price saw a higher value that is 1.3813 today and it was uh, for time being it was looking like that the price may go back to 1.3886 but suddenly it got rejected and the price is now trading below the support zone of 1.3768 right now at the time of recording this video the price is trading at around 1.3749 and this area is actually an area of support if you see here this was an area of support in the past and an area of support here here and here so expect this area to act as a fresh support but on the four hour if you see that the pullback is happening and the price is going back to 1.3768 once again then this can be your an next opportunity to go short in this market because if we see a close if we see a candle of today like it is uh, i think it is almost closed already only four hours uh, are remaining so if you switch to four hours chart now only 50 seconds away from closing this candle below that means yeah the buyers are out of market now and there are only sellers even if we see a pull back to 1.3768 that will be our sell sell so you can go and short here now this is just my opinion you have to take your own you have to carry out your own research in that but if the candle closes below 1.3768 that means 1.3670 is exposed however there is a possibility of pull back to 1.3768 to test it as a fresh resistance because this support is broken so i'm expecting this level to act as a fresh resistance and in that case the next target will be 1.3670 in the gbp usd on the contrary if the price starts rising from here and closes the day higher than 1.3768 then we can see 1.3800 once again and also 1.3886 is the horizontal resistance for the price talking about the new zealand dollar yesterday there was a bearish engulfing candle on the daily chart and today we saw a follow up and the price actually went back to almost 38 percent decline of this previous rally why we had distributed this fibonacci here because we wanted to see till what level the price can go actually 38.2 is acting as a support but if the price fails to rise above 7045 on the daily closing basis and gives us a close below 0.7045 then we can see 0.7000 level and maybe even 0.6987 also so this is what i think is possible before the price starts going up although i am bullish on new zealand dollar you see how it managed to break these highs here uh, convincingly and now the dollar is positive in all respects so maybe that's why new zealand dollar is falling 
but I think it can uh, fall all the way down to 0.6988 region where it will find support at a 50% Fibonacci from here we can expect the price to go up this is just my expectation let us see how the things unfold in the future but right now 0.7045 is the resistance and 0.7000 is going to be the next support for price I'm switching it on the 4 hourly just to see and witness that this 38.2% is acting as a support but the 4 hourly candle has already closed below the important support of 0.7045. So expect this low to test again and maybe we can test 0.7000 in this market soon maybe not today but maybe on Monday. Talking about Australian dollar here. Australian dollar also has given us a bearish engulfing yesterday and today the price is trying to give us a bearish pin bar and that too is at the level of resistance and if we see a close below 0.7289 this means that 0.7225 is exposed in this market. So next week we can witness 0.7225 in this market if you want to go short then your stop loss will be higher than this candles high that is higher than 0.73212 and your target will be 0.7225 although this is not good for risk to reward ratio is as far as risk to reward ratio is concerned so yeah stay away from this market as of now till the time you don't get a better opportunity and better opportunity could have been near 0.7332 if you have you have been successful in shorting this pair above this that is about uh, around this value then yes you are going to go with the target of 0.7225 and you should keep decreasing your stop loss as you see a lower high making in this market. Talking about the USD JPY a stronger US dollar is giving us some strength here against the USD JPY also but since this market is not behaving properly as it is not going anywhere no highs no lows fresh so I will just stay that stay away from this market. Um, Yeah, this 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 falling line is still acting as a resistance for the price here and expect this resistance to hold if we see a close above this even then we have a resistance immediately at 110.56 to 60 levels this resistance here is also going to stop the up move and push the price back to 109.57 till the time the price is not away from these levels i will say just stay away from this market trading usd jpy in this condition is not a good idea usd cad we are bullish on this market and today I expect that we are going to see a close higher than 1.2707. The price is trading much higher than that 1.2739 is the price and even the price has made a higher high than this high that was made on 7th of September this, this year. And today the price has made a high like 1.27626 and on 7th of September the price had made a high of 1.2761. Although it is not much higher than that, but only 1 to 2 pips. Uh, so, yeah, 1.2778 is the next level of resistance that we are looking in this market. And if that is broken on the daily closing basis, we can see 1.2914 soon on this market. On the lower side, 1.2707 is the immediate support. And if that is broken, then 1.2628 will be the next level of support. The resistance is sitting at 1.2778 and a close above this level will give you 1.2914 as the next target. Talking about the USD CHF, no surprises here. CHF is a very weak currency when we talk about CHF now. Uh, I'll tell you later why but USD CHF is going towards the level where we were thinking to short this pair it is almost there we are looking for a selling opportunity at the test of this uh, falling channel so this opportunity we may get next week or so so expect this level to hold as a fresh resistance because you see uh, in the long term this channel this falling channel is a very good place to open a short position again although this symmetrical triangle has been broken to the upside but I'm still bearish on this one here at around 0 0.9320 region
US dollar is all green against the Swiss franc. The price is rising, but the resistance is not very far, almost uh, 9350 region. Why on daily it was showing 9320? 9320 is where the price is trading right now. 9340 to 9350 is the area where we can expect resistance in this one. So now talking about the Euro GBP, 0.85236 was holding as of now for last one week. But like I said that I am looking for 0.8472 level to act as a very good support for the price. You see, uh, if we switch backward, then 0.8277 is a very good support for the price. But here this level at 0.8407 is also a good support. So if the price tends to go down, to 0.8477 or 0.8472 or 8407 I think that will be a very good area of opportunity for the buyers to go long and 8523 or 8530 does not look that attractive as this area or this area on the chart is. So if you are looking for a buying opportunity right now is not the level even if you see these bullish pin bars here there is no follow up. The euro also is looking very bad against the US dollar and great britain pound is looking still better if so my suggestion is that wait for the price to test at least 2.8472 before you look for an opening a position here in this one talking about the gold gold is a sell sell uh, if we have uh, yesterday only we had decided that if we see a closing below 1756 dollar then the next target will be around 1670 region and it has happened yesterday the price closed below that and today the price managed to see somehow the highs of 1767 but right now it is trading at 1752 and has made an intraday low of around 1747 so this is a clear indication that the low more losses are there on the way so expect 1670 to be reached almost 80 pips sorry 80 dollars of profit or loss for the buyers I am expecting in this market still it may take a week or so or maybe more but this is what I am expecting 60 70 but before that we have a long term long line here which is around 16 80 levels so that can also act as a good support for the price in case it goes there right now 756 is the resistance based on the daily or as well as on the 4 hour chart so talking about the GBP JPY, there was a small pullback to the upside on an intraday basis but again the price has gone below and is giving us a bearish pin bar on the daily chart. Now if something like this happens that means 150.49 is there on the chart if we see a close below 151.16, 151.16 has been a very good support for the price. If the sellers are able to give a close below this level today, that means 150.10, sorry, 150.49 is will be exposed on this market and 150.10 on the daily chart is what we are expecting in this market. And if that is broken, then 149.19 will be the next target for the price from where we can expect some positiveness, positivity in the GBP against the yen. Talking about CHF, it will definitely be falling. In only yesterday we have told not only 4 hours but on the daily chart also that it has already given us a close below this level. This was very important level and because this was broken so we were expecting some more losses on this chart and here it goes. Now 117.50 is where we are expecting some support. If it does not hold as a fresh support that means we are going to see 115.98 soon in this market. So expect some pullback from here. Some people may try to book their profits that they have gone got from here. Uh, but the patterns target is sitting at 115.98 level. So expect some pullback from here maybe all the way to here or maybe a small pullback and look for an opportunity to sell the pair with the target of 115.98. So right now the next support is 117.50, the resistance is sitting at around 118.85 to 118.95 region. Euro, Euro RD, uh, I am bullish on this pair actually. You see after the candle closed this day, I was very bullish on this one and it has already tested this level as the fresh support. Today the price is trading at 1.6120. 
it has made an intraday high at around 1.6152 and a low of 1.6091 almost 60 pips of range which the price is is doing today and this price is also an inside bar today so till the time we don't see a break to the higher side or a break to the lower side from this candle we cannot be sure where the market is headed but looking at the higher prices and the lower prices of course there is a small resistance here also uh, we have a support region of 1.6080 which is very close to the market and we have a uh, resistance at around 1.6266 although I consider this a minor resistance 1.6437 is the major resistance which I think should be our target if we want to look for a buying opportunity here all right if you buy at the current levels 1.6063 or below should be your stop loss and 1.6266 should be your first target and after that you should have 1.6437 as your next target in this market so yeah 1.6080 is the immediate support and the low of this candle may be even better support if you are looking for buying and 1.6266 is the next uh, resistance for the price talking about the euro uh, against the new zealand dollar see friends we have been very bearish on this market but the market is looking uh, green for the last week so this can be a pullback as this was a very decent support for the price in the past and we have seen or retested this level as 1.6693 today the price has made an intraday high at around 1.6705 and right now it is trading at 1.6651 so almost 55 points have been shed from the highs if we see a bearish pin bar or a close below 1.6637 in this market then 1.6487 will be exposed in fact a, a close below this line will expose 1.6487 and if we see a close below that 1.6487 below that then we will expose 1.6321 in this market which is going to be a very nice move because we have been well, short from 1.7122 region talking about silver silver was a sell sell yesterday and today also it is a sell sell it is approaching the target 22.06 almost uh, yeah almost 30 points shy from that and even if we see a close below this 22.06 21.11 is what we are expecting next in this market let us see how the price moved today the beauty of the technicals is that once the price starts moving it, it it if it behaves your levels or if it respects your levels it gives you a good good mood so i'm now in a very good mood i think that what 22.06 is where the profit booking will take place and if we see a close below that on four hour even then we can see 21.11 in this market right now 22.06 is the immediate support for the price and 22.86 is the next resistance so if you are looking to trade in this market uh, keep an eye on these two levels okay on Brent we are consolidating on one hour let us see what is happening on the daily on daily also we are consolidating it is in fact an inside bar again today yesterday the high was 75.85 and low was 74.45 today the high was at around 74. Uh, 74.73 and 74.56 was the low so this is still an inside bar so expect some more consolidation in this one maybe next week we can see a breakout to the upside otherwise if the price starts going down then 71.87 will act as a support and if we see a close higher than 75.62 then 77.80 will be exposed in this market and believe me it is from my experience i can say that this is just a consolidation after this up move so expect a breakout very soon to the upside with a target of 77.80 in the crude oil swiss franc swiss market is dropping we were expecting this level to hold but it is not hold it seems like it is not holding today 
we can see if a close below this level here this rising trend line is there then we can see one 11,793 levels also in this market and if that does not hold if we see a close below this then 11,277 will be exposed as discussed earlier here it seems like uh, there was some buying it seems like there was some buying but then it uh, this level was rejected on the four hourly and the price started going down so yeah expect 11,793 in this market soon euro against the Swiss franc is uh, doing very nice in fact it has broken out of this falling trend uh, falling channel and on the long term if you see there was this rising trend line which is broken and now the price is going back to test this level as the resistance because this was support in the past and was never retested and now the price is again headed back in that direction i am expecting this level to act as a very good resistance so i have marked it with an ellipse so this is going to be our area of opportunity if we see a bearish price action here we can sell this market with the target of 1.088 and 1.0840 so expect some bearish price action like this bearish pin bar or maybe bearish engulfing here then that will be a confirmation to go short in this pair with a small stop loss higher and targeting 1.0884, 1.0840, 1.0756 all the way down 1.0695 and 1.0668 in this market. So this is what I am expecting here in the Euro CHF. Uh, other than Euro CHF we have pound against the CHF. Yeah, CHF. Swiss franc is so weak that it is even falling against the pound today. Uh, yesterday the pound actually gave a close into the resistance but today it is trying to go higher than that and if we see a close higher than 1.2802 anywhere higher than 1.2802 that will mean that 1.3075 is the next target. Of course this high here will oppose the market from going up but if we see uh, 1.2857 I think this will be rejected if it does not get rejected and we see a close higher than this that means that we are going to witness 1.3075 in this market very soon so right now 1.2802 is the fresh support and 1.2857 is the small resistance and the biggest resistance is 1.3075 region talking about the bitcoin bitcoin's daily chart yesterday actually it came back to the support of 47,057 and today it is uh, actually giving us an inside bar there is indecision forming in Bitcoin so as to where to take the market on the lower side we have support at 47,057 on the higher side we have resistance at uh, 40, 50,405 so expect a break to the upside to the target of 50,405 but uh, buyers need more reasons to go and open their buy positions rather than just being bullish so i think when the price starts in this this direction and for and meets here this line i think that can give you another opportunity or another reason to go and open buy position so if the buyers are looking for this channel support that means when the price hits this line maybe the buyers will jump in and push the price back to 50,405 but if my analysis is wrong here if I prove out to be wrong and the price closes below this rising channels support line then 43,917 will be exposed in this market and if we see a close below that then 41,264 will be exposed which is a very good very good area to open buy position because this was a very good resistance in the past the price failed to test this resistance as the fresh support so if, the, if this support is tested again and you see a buying here that can be your next opportunity to go long in this market right now expect this this to hold for some time and expect this area to the to be achieved soon for the fresh buying why because if you have studied waves then the waves go like one two three one two three so it is like one one wave two wave and three wave this is how uh, I think uh, I'm not a wave trader but 
this is how usually a correction takes place one two three and the up move is in the form of five one two three four five and one two three is the correction this is how it happens if i'm wrong just correct me you can write down in the comment section i am not a believer of waves but this is what generally happens okay so if this is a pullback it will uh, this is the first wave this is second wave this can be third wave and you can get a buying opportunity at 41264 and if you see a break higher than this falling channel then you can expect higher levels like 52883 and even higher than that so the last thing that we are going to discuss today is the dollar so yeah dollar broke out of uh, okay actually there was multiple breakout falling channel this one the price broke out then this was the previous channel which the price was falling then there was a break to the downside now the price is at the resistance of 93.18 from this level i am expecting the price to go down us dollar should be sold off near this region because this was a good level of resistance and us dollar index behaves at the technical levels very nicely so expect some profit booking in the us dollar here at the 93.18 region but on the contrary if we see a close higher than this that is 93.18 in the us dollar index on the daily closing basis today then we can expect 93.73 next week in this market and if we cannot see a close higher than 93.18 the price may pull back towards 92.45 once again so with this i am done with the today's analysis uh, and I would like to wrap up. I'm sorry. I'm not able to do the live webinars these days I'm Extremely sorry about that because my internet and power are not good here, but I will uh, soon uh, Very soon. I will try to revert to the live webinars Now for today, I hope you got some idea about the levels of support and resistance which are of interest in the coming hours and days I just want you to keep in mind to never risk more than one percent of your capital on any single trade and you should take a trade only if you see that there is a potential profit of more than three times of whatever is your stop loss now with this note i will try to end this video please press the like button if you find the content useful for you leave your suggestions in the comment section you can ask your questions in the comment section if there is some part which you need more elaboration um, and you should also consider subscribing to the channel for more such videos if you are new to the channel also you can join the Ducas copy forex community the link are there in the description i wish you and your family a very happy and a profitable day and week ahead thank you all for watching stay blessed